Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Venture. And I'm Lunchbox. And on this episode, I've got one from Hub City. And when I say local, like down the street from us. Right. This this is from our hometown, Jackson, Tennessee. Jackson, Tennessee. And uh, they're located right in the heart of downtown, as a matter of fact. I mean, uh, when we go local, like, I'm friends with the head brewer. I know the owner. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're beer people, so, yeah. like, we know. Like, I even knew these guys before they opened this brewery. Okay, now, this one, I'm going to go ahead and preface it. I have already had it, this Oktoberfest. Well, you know, he, he asked me, hey, you want to drink a beer for a video? And I was like, oh, what do you got? And he got to Oktoberfest, and I said, that's what I want. I love them. I love Oktoberfest. Yeah, I look forward to fall every year. For no other reason than to try everybody's October I know. Fest. I like that it changes almost every year with a lot of people. Yes. No. Uh, that's a really neat little trick that a lot of y'all have done, and I love it. I love you for it. Thank you. So, this one's 5-6. Um, nice. This beer's like a week and a half old. All right. Um, now, it's an unfiltered Marzen. Um, so, this would be very traditional. Kind of cloudy. You know, we'll have a little bit. There's not a whole But it's whole not lot. it's not foggy. <laughs> yeah. So there'll be a little little uh, in there. Now, I even have an Oktoberfest Fest. It is by far my favorite beer. I even go for not just the Marzins, even the Fest beers. So I've got an Oktoberfest playlist that mm. uh we'll link that either down there in the description or I'll probably even put it at the end. Um it smells like that color. Mm -hmm. It's got some like caramel notes in there. Some toasty notes. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. Like, they've got some beers that I really like down there. Um, but this one is oh, getting really close. Wow. Really close to being my favorite one they make right camera. now. It <laughs> might have been off camera. So, uh, yeah, that was really, really good. Uh, it, it's really rich. It's but not it's sweet. Not sweet rich. Yeah. It's just like substantially Full. rich. Um, it doesn't taste heavy though. You know, a lot of them when they get that rich and full, they they tend to come off kind of thick and heavy, and it doesn't. I like the tingle. It's got a tingle. Um, I I think this is a fantastic beer. Now I um, love the color. It's there's if you're new to Marzins, there's no like. Normally, there's no big hop note. This one has no hop bite. This has a little bit of bite that I don't think is hops right at the beginning of it. Uh, just a tiny one to me Yeah, on, on the lips, but I don't think that's hops. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, there's enough hops in it for beer, but it's right. not Right, it tastes like IPA. beer. But it, yeah, but it's not even pale ale strong. So, uh, yeah. I like it. Now, there is a problem. This isn't in a liter. Uh, it is yeah, Oktoberfest. I wish it was a liter. It should come in a bigger bigger container, bigger yeah, vessel. Like a um, gallon jug. At least a growler. Come on. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, the, the, little, the little logo they got on here, that's cute. I like it. But it's really what's inside. And I'm, I mean, as you can tell, it's not just because these are people I know and I'm friends with. This is one of the best beers they've made. This, this thing's just freaking great. This is a really good beer. And uh, I'm pretty sure at some point in time, we've asked you to discuss your favorite uh, Oktoberfest. Yeah. So I'm going to switch that up this time. Uh. Instead, because this is a local beer, I'm going to ask you what's your favorite local beer? What 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 does what is made close to you that you really enjoy? Yeah. Um, let us know so we can go look for it. Because, I mean, we've got the, the, the local guys in Memphis and right. Nashville, but this one's literally like... In our town. Minutes away. Like, that's probably yeah. less than 10 miles away. Probably like four, five, six miles away. Yeah. Yeah. It's really close. <laughs> our town's though. not that big. <laughs> well, we also, we kind of live in the middle and it's in the middle, so... Right. Yeah. But... Um, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to be able to find to put in the description, but what I can find, I will put in there. Um, and I will, in down there in the description, I'll probably try to put a link to their website. And I'm also going to put like the links to my, my merch store 
and all the social media mess. And I'm going to make it a link to my TikTok. It's yeah. mostly just video games, but come check me out. I'll do that. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in seeing really short form reviews, Ooh, excuse me, got hiccups on TikTok. I'm thinking about doing it. I don't know. I don't know if anybody cares. I want to see if he can down like one of those massive beers in less than 60 seconds. <laughs> Probably. Okay, then we'll, I want to see if he can down two of those massive beers. <laughs> more, we'll see. Time. We're going to look for us there. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, let's get into it. Did you dig it? I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really, really did. Would I have another? I've already drank all these. <laughs> um, yeah. I, ha I have to go down to go down there or to one of my local liquor stores that's got it and get me some more. I have a hard time passing any Oktoberfest, you know, I've, I've said before, if you put, if you put space or yeah, space <laughs> car, or Oktoberfest or on. car on, on the beer, then I'm probably going to buy it. Well, Oktoberfest is my other weakness. So I, I am an Oktoberfest junkie. You know, and they got the leaves on there and the, man, that just looks cool. And pretzels and a four wheeler. Man, Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> right. Um, you know, does it have seekability? To me, all Oktoberfests have seekability because very few. There's a couple European Oktoberfests that are made year-round now. But, but unless you live in West Tennessee, you're probably not going to find this one. No, you're going to have to live. Or you're going to have to have somebody send you some. But um, pick six. It's a Oktoberfest. Just Comes buy in a six-pack. Six pack. Just get a six-pack of it. Now, um, on a one to ten. Man, this is. nine. It is a good Oktoberfest, and I'm a touch biased because it's in the town I live in, and it's people I know making it. All right, so I'm giving it an eight. It's definitely way up there. Um, it's not my favorite Oktoberfest, but it is a really, really good. It's not my favorite Oktoberfest either. My favorite Oktoberfest uh, is a ten. But. So uh, I would have been looking for a little more alcohol punch, maybe, um, to give it that extra point. But as far as the flavor goes, man, it's still stellar. Oh, it really is. Uh, so you want a big soft pretzel right now with it. That's a great number. Yeah. Well, there you have it. And uh, shout out to Cody. Made a great beer. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.